can be considered a form of art. So, um, I'm broadcasting. To warm up, um, I want you guys to tell me, uh, do you consider video games to be an art form? So, Christoph, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Can yes, I can't hear you. Are you muted? Hello, hello. Hmm. Birkin? Is it me? Uh, yeah. Are you talking? I can't hear anyone. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Hey. Yeah. You're fresh. One, two, three, one, two, three. Can you hear us now? Yes. Hello? Can you hear Hi, me? Sorry, I don't know. I couldn't hear anyone. It was being weird. Okay. Um, so, Christoph, do you consider video games to be a type of art? Mm, yes, uh, games are type of art. Uh, can be a martial art. Mm. Uh, you can see some artists can uh, draw. Um, mm -hmm. It's artificial. Um, and math is kind of art. Uh, in, in games, you can see a lot of math. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's um, graphic designers, right? Doing, yeah. creating all the drawings. Mm -hmm. um, what about you, Quang? Do you consider video games to be a type of art? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. So, do you consider video games to be a type of art? Do you consider video game to be an art form? Yes, I, I, I think so because uh, it's a very difficult to design the video game. You need to play a clever designer to make the art form. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. Um, Firkin, what do you think? Mm, it wasn't art before, but now it's like crazy drawings or anything, especially like games like Assassin's Creed or uh, the character-based games. Is like uh, character designs. They design the guy, the main character, before they do it on computer, like sketch drawings or anything. You can even find them or buy their posters. Mm -hmm. So they are trying really hard to make it really good and right now there are really good games uh, on the market. Mm -hmm. Cool, yeah. I think the, the um, well I guess it depends. I think they're all art really. They're just different types of drawings. Um, and also music. Pardon? And we can consider music as an art form and there are really cool um, game scores. Mm -hmm. And the text as well. Text like content or plot? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, some games like Assassin's Creed. The games that I play, most of them have, because I play a lot of RPGs, so most of them have a pretty, pretty detailed plot line, so that's considered art, I think. It's like a story. Um, so next question, do you guys play video games <laughs> before mm -hmm. we start talking? Yeah. Again, what video games do you like to play? Uh, first person shooters, strategy. Mm, I used to like to play RPGs, but not anymore. I, I don't have time. Mm -hmm. And sometimes racing. Racing? Yeah. I used to, <laughs> on my PS1, I used to play ATV Off Road Fury. Did you ever play that? <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I can <laughs> either. I used to play it all the time. <laughs> but they are fun. Mm -hmm. Have 2D um, graphics. Yeah. Or um, what's another really bad 2D? I'll think of one later. But lots of Is it lying in like yeah, you you were a lion trainer and lion was just jumping. I forgot its name. Mm -hmm. Like lying in the circus. Hmm. That was on the computer, wasn't it? Mm, it was an Atari games. Oh, Atari. <laughs> uh, Christoph, what about you? Do you like to play video games? No, I don't play uh, video games. Why? Why not? Why don't? What don't you like about them? Um, what can I gain? Just in general. <laughs> <laughs> Just if I don't can gain, I don't do that. Okay. All right. And um, Quang. Okay, teacher. I um, would prefer a racing car. Racing car. Mm -hmm. And because it helped me uh, about visual, visual. Mm -hmm. I can. Uh, it can scam and skin in something uh, quickly. Okay. Mm -hmm. How about you, TJ? How about you? How about me? <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, I play video games. <laughs> okay. um, but not lately. I haven't really been playing yeah. games for the last couple of months because I've been really busy. So I don't really have time. Yeah. Um, yeah. But when I was in university, and I needed a reason, or I needed something to procrastinate with <laughs> when I didn't want to study yeah. for my exams. <laughs> then I used to play on my PlayStation all the time. Um, yeah, I played WoW, but just for first year mm -hmm. and a little bit of second year. But I got a little yeah. bit addicted to it, so I stopped playing. Um, yeah. Uh, so today um, we're looking at pronouncing the S ending. So um, there's three different ways to pronounce the S ending of words. There's the S, the Z sound, and the is. So we've got s, s, z, and is. And the way that you pronounce the S depends on the sound that comes before it. So here's our first sound. What does a snake make? Everyone do it together. <laughs> and if you put your hand on your throat, there's nothing. There, it's, there's no vibration. It's completely just your breath. Um, so this is a voiceless sound. We use it after other voiceless sounds. So, for example, I'll just taste this for you. Is it at the end of words that end in a P, F, T, H, T, K, H? Any voiceless sounds? P, F, S, Ch, F, K, right? Um, all of those voiceless sounds end in the S because the S is voiceless sound. So the first, um, I've got a couple examples. The first one is walks, walks, S sound, bets, pop. Pops. They're all voiceless um, endings, so they all make that S sound at the end. Um, and then the next one is the Z sound. Um, so if you do this again, z, z, buzz. with the Z, z it's vibrating your throat. Z. So that's called a voiced sound. Um, we use the voiced sound after other voiced sounds, like um, M, I, sound. So, for example, films, records, walls. So, whenever you have another voiced sound at the end of the word, pronounce it like a Z, like a B. Like teacher, sound, yeah. sound, sounds. Sorry? Sound, sounds. Sound, sounds. 
sounds because the D sound, d, 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 it's a voiced sound, sound, sounds. Like sounds good. Yep, sounds good. It's it's a Z sound in there. Sounds good like this. Sounds good. It's very sounds, soft. It's not like sounds, you think. Uh, sounds good, good right? So we like a German uh, style. But okay, you, the teacher, the end yeah. is or is it sounds? It ends in an S, but it sounds like a, a very soft Z. Sounds. Oh. Yeah. It's not a very thick Z sound, right? You don't um, you don't have to over pronounce the S, but when you're reading, even if it's quickly, it'll come out like a Z because the D is a voiced ending. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, and then the next sound is is. So we use the is when the end of the it's kind of like an S sound. So sh, sh, j, z, s, all of those S ish sounding endings, um, the words end in an is. So we're actually adding an extra syllable when we pluralize them. Watches, purses, roses, buzzes. What is roses? Roses, like the flower, a rose. Mm -hmm. So when you have these endings, we're actually adding a syllable and pronouncing it like is, is at the ending. Okay? But purses uh, is uh, z too? Purses, yeah, because of the s at the end. S-e, it works the same way, because you don't pronounce the e, it's a silent e. Same with roses. So because but, there's an s no, sound at the end, you're using but, is. Okay, but uh, in purses it's not as uh, the z like in roses. Purses, roses. Should sound like this. Purses, roses. Oh, the S sound, right? Because in purses, it's yeah. purses. It's it's a soft S. Yes. In roses, it's like the Z sound. But uh, teacher, yeah. roses. I think it is a name. Like oh, I heard it before, um, roses. Or name of the woman. The name of the woman? Yeah, Roses. It's a name, Rose. It's my middle name, actually. Um, but it's also a flower. Oh. <laughs> so if we were saying Roses like the name, you would say it like this. Oh, roses um, House, I don't know. And it, you would still pronounce it the same way as like rose's house, look at the pretty roses. You pronounce it the same way. This is a rose, let me look at a picture. Roses. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Um, See what you're saying, Christoph, but because it's an S-ish sound, so if it ends in an S or a Z sound, then you add the is to the end. Purses, roses. What about ends? Ends. The D. Voice. The will end. Oh, yeah. Um, the, let's see. The, uh, Can we say sins? The luncheon ends at noon. Ends so at noon. You hear it? The luncheon ends mm -hmm. at noon. It's like a Z because the D is a voice sound. Oh. It's not a super thick Z sound, so sometimes it's hard to catch. Um, but it's there. Um, sorry. So uh, Omar, did you have a question? Between S and Z. Pardon? So it's uh, between S and Z. I, I didn't understand the question. Uh, the sound you are talking is uh, something between S and Z. Right, so we've got an S, a Z. It's n not clear Z. And an is. Yeah, the, the Z, the Z, it's 
it is a, a clear Z, but it's a very short Z. <laughs> so it's very soft, and it's it's to kind of link to the next word. <clears throat> um, the sins, like the end with S, or is it? Sims, like the. The sins. Can you type the word lessons? I'm not sure. No, no, not lessons. The sins, like the sins of the people. Ah, oh, like this. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. so you would say it with the sins of the people. It's a Z. Sins, sins, sins of the people. Okay. Okay. Mm. Let's do some practice. Um, I'm gonna look around and find some items. <laughs> Here's one. Fans. S. Z or is sound? Um, what is? <laughs> Sounds like S. The fans are round. The fans, fans. are round. That. Fans. Yeah. Fans. It's a Z. It's a mm, mm, mm. If you make fans. the N sound, mm, it's a vibrating sound. It's a voiced sound. So it ends in a Z. Fans are around. I think all of them with uh, Z, but what is the word with just S? We can't add Z. Right, so it depends on if it is voiceless or voiced. If it's voiceless, we use S. Uh, words that end in a P, F, T, H, T, H. So they're all voiceless sounds because they're just breathy. Um, those ones end in sound, like walks, bets, tops. Okay. Here's another one. Couches. Couches. You've got a CH, so it ends in an is sound. Couches. Um, what about this? Desks. Desks. Mm -hmm. no. Christoph? Desks. Omar? Uh, like uh, Christoph. No, that's cheating. Desks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, desks. 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 Because the K is voiceless. So it's making this. Sound. Um, yeah, desks. Mm -hmm. Um, Quang, can you try that one for me? Desk. Desks. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, try um this one. Bows. Bows. Bowls. The bowls are full. The bowls are full. The bows are full. The bows are full. Vibrate. Bowls are full. Bowls are full. The bows are full. Good. Um, another one? Can you read this sentence for me, Omar? The walls are green. Quickly. The walls are green. Good. Do you hear the sound you made? You did it correctly, but did you hear what it was? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a Z. The walls are green. The walls are green. Walls are green. It's not always something that you need to think about too much because when you're speaking quickly, you're going to do it the right way <laughs> because it yeah. it's just the way that the sounds are working when you're pronouncing things. Um, you wouldn't say the walls are green. You don't need to make that light S sound. Um, it's easier to blend it with a voiced sound because you're already using your throat. Um, we'll do some more practice at the end. Any questions about that so far? No. <laughs> Let's do... Where's, okay, countable and uncountable. This sounds like 
framework up. Teacher, what's yeah. mean Chrome Miracle? Sorry, which word? Um, the fracking half it in the shot box. Oh, um, commercial. Oh, commercial. You know what that is? Yeah, yeah, commercial. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's pronounced commercial. Show that C I A. It turns into a sh sound. Commercial. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Plurals with countable and uncountable nouns. Um, Christoph, can you read the first part for us? Okay. Plurals with countable and uncountable nouns. Count nouns. Uh, these are things you can easily count. Two, three, uh, five cars, a dozen chairs, etc. Most nouns are count nouns. Uh, you make this uh, plural by ad adding s at the end. Some you have to change to like person, people. We won't study that here. Uh, non count nouns. These nouns are simply not easily counted. They are not pluralized with s. Uh, it includes uh, many uh, liquids uh, and uh, solids, water, oil, blood, ice, silver, gold, cotton, wool, et etc. Mm -hmm. uh, it includes many foods, milk, wine, cheese, meat, rice, flour, salt, sugar, etc. Activities ending in ing, swimming, playing, etc. Sports, football, baseball, etc. Categories, money, software, information, etc. Fields of study, biology, chemistry, economics, etc. Ideas and concepts, information, knowledge, Confidence, importance, justice, etc. Good. Okay. Stop there. Thanks, Chris. So, most of the time, we're using countable nouns. Um, we also have lots of non count nouns um, where we don't add an S to the end, and we have lots of exceptions. Um, we're not looking at the exceptions right now, but um, there's, there's not too, too many of them. But exceptions where they don't pluralize the same way. Um, so Chris listed a bunch of them for us. <clears throat> Sports, categories, school, concepts. So general sort of thing, uh, things and also a lot of foods. Yeah, Frickin? Um, sometimes I see like in the waters of uh, Nil or Nile. Mm -hmm. So like, how was that? Yeah, that's... Waters. I guess kind of an exception. Sometimes when you're talking about a body of water, um, you pluralize it, but it's not necessary to do that. So a body of water, I mean like a lake, the sea, the ocean. Um, you're so it's sometimes pluralized, but it's unnecessary. You could just say the water of. It would be fine. Um, okay. And then... How to compare? I'm just going to. Yeah. Um, maybe Quang, would you like to read? Yeah. Uh, where is it, teacher? How like to compare. Here. How to yeah. compare. Yeah, okay. How to compare cow and non cow nouns. You compare cow nouns with fewer and more. More dogs. 10 items or fewer, etc. Many native speakers use the technically incorrect less 10 items or less, etc. You compare non count nouns with more and less, more water, less oil, more dancing, less money, etc. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, again, do you want to read the last part for us? Last part. 
right here. Okay. You use too many width now count nouns, too many houses, too many cars. You use too much with noun count nouns, too much oil and too much water. You use too few with count nouns, too few tables and chairs. You use too little with noun count nouns, too little science in school. Too mm -hmm. few, too little, not enough. Okay. So I'm um, just kind of talking about I have a question about this uh, uh, 10 items or less. Uh, we should uh, say th in this way or uh, in the first one, uh, 10 items or fewer. Right, so technically this is correct. Yes, but um, it, I think most people are talking in second way, so if I say uh, the first one correct. Uh, do I sound conceited? Um, yes. <laughs> so actually, oh, so even it's uh, bad. I should use uh, ten items or less. Right. I think it's because this particular phrase, items or less, it's become a grocery store thing. So when you go to the grocery stores, you have the express lane, and you'll always see this sign. Right. Ten items or less. Five yeah. items or less. Um, and even though it's the incorrect way, that's how everyone says it. So if you went up and said, is this the lane for 10 items or fewer? <laughs> they might look at you a little funny. But um, So it sounds a little bit unnatural. You're right, Chris, because we've sort of started doing it this way. I don't know if you would sound conceited, but um, they, they might look at you. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Just look at you. They'll kick look you out you. of that shop. Right. Um, the word fewer, um, we should, but don't use it at, out loud as much as we should. We mm. should be using it in the less. correct places, less. but we don't. We tend to use less instead, mm -hmm. even when it's supposed to be fewer. So. so it's not bad to use uh, less, because I heard many times uh, mm -hmm. uh, Less instead of fewer. Yeah, no, it's normal. Because it's normal in, in spoken English, yeah. So should I avoid the fewer or not? <laughs> because I'm confused now. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I don't know. I don't want to tell you to avoid it. Um, hmm, how do I explain? But... I, know, I, I, don't, I don't know exactly what to tell you, but we do replace fewer with less a lot of the time when we're speaking. Um, you could get away with not using fewer in speech, um, and no one would think anything of it if you were using less. As long as you're aware that it's kind of a spoken thing that we've done, and it's actually technically, it's not correct grammatically. So on paper or on a test, or something, you would need to do it the correct way, otherwise you would you might lose marks. So um, it is a grammar rule, but it's again it's one of those written versus spoken things where most of the time we use less. I quite honestly I don't even remember the last time I said fewer. <laughs> so um, it's just not it doesn't sound natural or feel natural to say it. So um, but so in my writing I, I would use it in writing. Okay, so we should uh, do that in uh, written language, mm -hmm. no, but in spoken language it's more common, less. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, I hate teaching things like that because I'm teaching you <laughs> incorrectly, but that's just the way that it is. <laughs> we, we just change things around when we're speaking. Um, any other questions so far about this? Too many, too much? Mm -hmm. So also, that goes as well, Kristoff and everyone, for too few. Um, you wouldn't say too little tables and chairs. You wouldn't replace too few with too little. Um, but instead of saying too few, you might say not enough tables and chairs. So for this one, it sounds more natural to me, not enough, than too few. So that's another thing with spoken. 
don't replace too few with too little because that just doesn't work. It sounds awkward. Mm -hmm. um, but you might choose to say not, not enough not. instead of too few. It's just um, that word few. We use it when we're saying that there's a few of something. Like there's a few good TV shows on tonight. There's a few apples in the kitchen. Um, but it, it, it just kind of depends on the context. Too so, few, we don't use that often. So too few, you do not use. It's not, not as often, yeah. I would, I would not enough instead of too few most of the time. But it's the same thing where this is grammatically correct. So is not enough. It's, that's fine. Um, but you want to be aware of too few. You're just, you're more, I'll, let me, I'll write it. It's tiny. <laughs> um, you're more likely to use A few. Okay, just to kind of clarify with few. Um, in speech, again, I want to make that it's in speech. Um, it's still good to know um, when to use fewer correctly. Okay. Um, okay. Any other questions? Clear. Clear. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let's take a look at our article. Mm -mm. Okay. Our video games, the next great art form. Oh, that's a creepy look. <laughs> Which um, game is it? I don't know. That might be a dumb question. <laughs> but whatever video games are, they're starting to resemble all the things we've called art in the past. Look at this creepy guy. It's from Bioshock Infinite. Aww. In 2005, late film critic Robert Ebert... <clears throat> created a storm of controversy when he wrote that video games could never be art. While Ebert wasn't the first person to address the subject, he was one of the first mainstream critics to do so. And his statement set off a rash of essays, blog posts, and talks arguing for few and against many, his position. So not very many, this is kind of unclear how it's written, not very many people were arguing for and many people were arguing against. Um, the subject has drifted in and out of popular culture ever since with different scholars, sorry, has drifted in and out of popular culture ever since with different scholars weighing in here and there. Ebert told himself, Ebert himself, well, I can't read today, <laughs> Ebert himself would refine his position half a decade later explaining video games by their nature require player choices which is the opposite of the strategy of serious film and literature, which requires authorial control. Recently, a number of museums, including the Smithsonian and the MOMA, staged exhibitions featuring video games as art, throwing the topic into focus again. Plus, technological advancements continue to decrease the cost of entry into game making, giving a larger number of creators a chance to express themselves in the medium. More makers means more variety. And now, even the so-called AAA games, massive undertakings like Gears of War, Bioshock, or Uncharted, that can cost $100 million or more, increasingly prize subtlety and sophistication. 
the latest edition of Gears features 12,000 lines of procedural dialogue. Um, I won't read any more than that. Oh, it comes just to finish. So in some ways, the question seems as relevant as ever. Can video games be art? So, um, vocabulary? Anything new in here? Any new words? Expressions? No. Everything's okay? What does this mean? Yes. Which also, like, there was to be an authority. Yeah, exactly. There needs to be an authority. What do you think about this statement? Do you agree that video games don't have an authority because people can choose things in them? Don't have authority or how authority? Don't have authorial control. They have no authority over what's going on. They're letting players make choices. Oh, yeah, that's true. But we are not talking about plot. Because even though there's, authorial con there's no authorial control, you can't go out of uh, the plot. You have to follow it. If you do something that is not in the plot, mm -hmm. you will die and have to go back and play the same game again mm -hmm. until you finish. Yeah, that's a good point. So... Although it's letting you make choices, <laughs> if you screw up, then you have to start over until yeah. you get it right. So <laughs> it's not really letting you make choices. <laughs> um, okay, let's look at our discussion. Here's our first question. Video game displays belong in museums like the Smithsonian or MOMA, Museum of Modern Art. Do you think video games should be in these museums? Mm. They should have uh, their own museums for video games. Sorry? They only... They should have their own uh, museum. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So like the Museum of Video Games? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. what, is, what do you guys think? A photo from them? They didn't clarify if it was a photo or a video display. I kind of feel like it's probably a video display, but I'm, I'm not sure. Um, video display, like just showing trailers? Maybe. Uh, actually, if you call video, not videos, movies as art, then they, can't, they must be art. Because I've seen different games exactly look like movies, maybe better than them. Uh, since they didn't touch some topics, game does, game stuff, games do, and while you're playing them, there are some cinematics that you can watch and enjoy, and they are like professionally designed, better than most movies that you've seen, and plot sometimes are just amazing, getting mm -hmm. the best scenario awards. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you think that they belong in this sort of museum? Oh. Mm, no, of course not. <laughs> but we keep in the museum something old. <laughs> right. Uh, well, show. not necessarily. Well, it depends on the museum. Like to the, remember the, something, yes. The but Museum the, of Modern Art has things made like yesterday, right? As well, and they go back to you know the 30s, 20s. But you can have museum of technique. Yeah, like a techni um, technology, museum of technology or something like that. Yeah, I can see it belonging. I don't think video games belong in the Smithsonian. I think that seems really weird. But <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Um, Firkin, I think you made a good point about the trailers. But there aren't film trailers in museums, right? It seems like it doesn't belong like, I think that it's an art form, but that doesn't mean you're going to go to a museum just to watch a movie, right? <laughs> Seems kind of weird. Um, Quang, what do you think? <clears throat> Meeting video game displays belong in a museum like this book, Sonian. This is my art just no Sonian is a museum, the name of the museum. Mm hmm. Yeah, let me show you this, Smithson. Um, yeah. 
But I think arcade games uh, belong to Smithsonian. Yeah, it's true. Here's a few pictures. Oh wow, a hundred more. Um, they've got lots of displays, animal displays. They have some technology. It looks like what's this? The space Mars exhibit. So they have different exhibits for different things. So maybe they just had a video game exhibit. I don't know. Can see if we can find it. Here it is. It's us. Oh, oh, it was last wow. year. Wow. Is this a logo or a real picture inside of it? I think we should watch the trailer, exhibition trailer. We won't watch the whole thing, maybe just a minute. Games are so much more than just code that runs inside of the computer. Put a passion of love of art from the people who create these games. One of the things that's really fun with games is the whole idea of the playful mind. How can we make games surprise you? Yeah, it's not really showing you what's in the exhibit, but there's some more video videos there. Um, they're just kind of talking about why they're art, considered art. Um, so I guess it was last year. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, what do you think, Quang? <laughs> yeah, I, I think video games the place belong in museums. I think they, um, they based on the, um, the, the, uh, the things and the animal in the uh, museum. And mm -hmm. they, they bring it in real life. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I think some, uh, some device on the uh, things in the museum, it, uh, re relevant to real life, and um, they bring the the the, the relevant things in museum to real life. It's very interesting to attract 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 the the kids, attract the kids, and they have have ever been to museum. They relate to the real life or relate to the video game. It attracts uh, the kids to to play a game. It's very interesting to, to cooperate with um, the museum and the video game. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, and in games, there's something called artwork. It's in, Do you know that? That there's art, art in game? Are you talking about something specific? Uh, for example, you can type a game's name, then... You're muted. Because he typed yeah. it. Oh, he was typing it. Yeah, I was saying that you can type a game's name, then uh, type Arthur, and then you'll find really cool drawings. Oh, of um, their sketches before they turned it into... Yeah, for example, you can try it on Final Fantasy, probably there are some really cool pictures. No, I'm trying, right? <laughs> Okay, yeah. So the drawings before they've animated a lot of the time. Yeah, um, concept art. Right. Um, I couldn't find my Final Fantasy yesterday. I was very sad about that. I don't know where my video games are. Um, <laughs> did you do you know the the sort of sarcastic? There's something called. This is how it came across when you said in games there's something called artwork. It came across <laughs> even though that's not what you meant to say. When you say there's something called this, it comes across as kind of sarcasm or like you're joking. Like I could say, um, for example, <laughs> it's going to make a shower example. Like, when, wow, there's something called a shower, you know, you could shower. Oh, <laughs> I know. You know that, that sort of sarcasm, there's... Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I Have you heard of that? saying, like, there's something called artwork in games, you know, like it is art. Because that kind of works in this context. I wasn't sure 
which way you were going. Um, you know, literally, there's, there's artwork. Um, okay. And these video games affect on language, so you have to know at least what is <laughs> Minecraft or Assassin's Creed, because yeah. uh, if you don't know, you are lost with <laughs> new slang words. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's true. Yeah, but um, Minecraft is crazy. It's so big, and people are working on different buildings. I saw that someone was trying to build their, its own city in China, and someone is making, a, you know, the Game of Thrones uh, map or whatever, mm -hmm. those castles or anything. Mm -hmm. They're trying hard to build things. Mm -hmm. um, my cousin in England, he is a map maker. That's what he does. He, he's a geography major and he makes maps. And um, he made a Lord of the Rings map and it's like huge and it's so cool. He sent um, he sent us a picture. Uh, I It's not here. It's in London. Um, but anyway, that was random. But he makes Did maps. Did he do for like, a specific person or just to sell it? To sell it, probably. Um, I think he sells them to a company that sells maps. So he's like a oh. distributor. Um, yeah. So what about the text in video games? This is kind of where Christoph was going. Is is it a type of literature? Um, have you guys ever thought of the plot of a video game as kind of like a novel? Um, do you ever even read it <laughs> if you're playing games? RPGs might be. Yeah. I don't know, you're playing them. There are lots of lines. Most legends just read them. Mm -hmm. But in other games, there is a plot that pulls you in and it's riveting lots of times. Like movie scenarios. I have you're a wondering question. what's gonna happen. Do games have subtitles? Yeah. They do. Most of I... them yeah. They... See I wouldn't know that because they're almost all in English. Most of them are in English. Yeah, um, but some games have like eight language options. Oh, so you change the language option and then it's the text changes or the whole thing changes? No, the whole thing changes. So when guys are speaking in that language, oh, that okay. but it was never in my first language, so. <laughs> so did you just do it in English? Yeah, always. Mm -hmm. um, okay, here's another question. What might be the biggest argument against video games as an art form? So pretend that you're arguing and saying, no, video games are not art. What, what would you argue? How could you say that they're not? Okay, can you... Now, for example, you don't make art to make profits. And their first aim is not to... I don't know. <laughs> when you look at it like that, okay. Okay. Well, some people don't make art to profit. It's true. A lot of people Most do. Of them don't. Like Most who? Don't. Artists. A lot of artists are painting to to sell their paintings to make money. Okay. But not always. I mean, with video games, it's a good point. With video games, you can't really make one unless you're looking to profit because they're kind of expensive to make. <laughs> With painting, you can do it as a hobby. Just buy some paint, and it's not that expensive. Um, Christoph, what's another argument to say that video games are not art? Mm, who are you to say that? What do you mean? Uh, I would say, who are you to say that? Mm -hmm. Like, how can you be the person who... You are not authority that? for me, so... Mm -hmm. And this is very good uh, answer to everything. Just the generic answer? Yes, <laughs> generic answer. Who are you? Just whenever you are, you're in a you debate. You are not authority to me. Whenever you're in a debate, who are you to say? You're like, yeah. <laughs> 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 obviously, <laughs> I'm just voicing my opinion. Um, okay. Because, uh, let's say, who can uh, force you to um, call something uh, art or not? For example, 
for me it's not art if somebody uh, pee on a sheet and uh, put into museum and call that art. You are laughing, but uh, some piece of art is. Yeah, there is bidets in, in a museum and people mm. are looking at arts. Mm. Yeah, it's true. There's some art that is hard to... Gloss, it's gloss. For me, it's not art. Mm -hmm. So, and what? Because uh, some uh, authority said, uh, p some peer review said, no, mm -hmm. for me, it's a shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see what you're saying. So a lot of um, new modern, not not kind of old-fashioned modern art, but this era right now, that's a lot of what's happening. Just random things. Like someone finds, or like the toilet. Do you guys know that to the toilet? Pe yeah. Bowl? That I can't. That's not art to <laughs> me. It's a toilet. <laughs> You know, things like that that are so abstract, where an abstract sculpture where they just find, you know, a bicycle wheel and, like, turn it horizontally and they're like, it's hard. And yeah, <laughs> they look at like this. Wow. Mm -hmm. DC. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I think when you compare it to things like that, like what Kristoff is saying, then it's hard to argue that games aren't an art form because there's so much art that goes into them, so many drawings and everything else. Design. Um, Quang, what do you think? Can you think of an argument why video games shouldn't be considered art? Yeah, <laughs> I, I think um, uh, I share an argument. Uh, some people said that um, uh, video game bring the, the kids violent. They have to think about the evil monster. In the, the 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 black world, not uh, and something uh, is uh, mm -hmm. the bad for kids. Mm -hmm. They uh, when they play video game, they usually play game with the kids neighbor. <laughs> they try to um, to find as the video game they uh, they have have ever play. I think, um, some, 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 some parents of the kids don't think it's, it's art form. Mm -hmm. So they, because they, it's they, inappropriate? They, yeah. yeah, they're not that educated, they shoot the kids. Some, mm -hmm. some video games do we, not educate the kids, but some, some, uh, some video games uh, have, have students uh, or kids think about the parents mm -hmm. They play the game to bring food, to find the other, to help the other, to bring food for the family. Mm -hmm. It is a uh, good game. And some, some games um, have education inside. Yeah. They, uh, they find again the other to help the, 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 the sweetheart. Yeah, to help sweetheart. It's good. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yeah. Okay. I see what you're saying. Um, so do you think whether or not there's educational value can kind of determine something related to art? Or maybe just parents don't consider games art unless they have educational value in them <laughs> for their kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. Um, so just to kind of go back and review our nouns, um, I'm going to give you a noun, and I want you to decide if it's countable or uncountable just by using a word with it. So you can either say more, less, um, too much, too little, not enough. You can choose which phrase or word you want to use, but just show me that you understand how to use the word. So for example, if I said dog, you could say three dogs. Or you could say too many dogs, not too much dogs, right? Too many dogs. Um, so let's go, Christoph. Um, ice, ice. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> ice. What can I say? Mm. 
it's much ice. <laughs> but <laughs> you a lot few more. too much ice. Um, yep, that's right. Too much ice. Mm -hmm. um, okay, for again, shoe. Mm, shoes. Would be like pairs of shoes or just shoes. Okay, there are too many shoes. Too many shoes in your closet. <laughs> closet. Closet. <laughs> Quang, um, soccer. <laughs> Soccer, a uh, club, a uh, uh, soccer, oh. soccer, uh, um, two soccers, soccer. Soccer because it's a sport. We can't add an S to the yeah. end. No. Yeah, soccer. Mm. Soccer. Mm. Yeah. Could say mm, more soccer. Yeah, more suckers, a lot of suckers. Not suckers, just soccer. There's no S at the end because it's a sport. Soccer. Yes, soccer. Mm -hmm. um, Chris, uh, biology. Mm. <laughs> biology. <laughs> uh, too much biology in school? <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> too much. Perkin. Huh. Two, no, I will just change it. A few bottles. A few bottles? Mm -hmm. yeah. And one more quang. Clothes. Uh, clothes. A lot of clothes. Good, a lot of clothes. More clothes. More clothes. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, okay, that's it for this class. Um, in the next class, we're playing Taboo. So come play if you want to play a game, okay? Thanks for coming. See you soon. Thank you, thank you, thank you.